In this video, I will be showing you the Pilgrim Rose with its first ever bloom. I only planted it as a burr root earlier this year. And towards the end of the video, I will be showing you more Pilgrim Blooms as a cup flower. It looks gorgeous. And also, I will give you a preview of Bathsheba Rose as a cup flower too. Enjoy. Hi, just very quickly, I wanted to show you the very first of the Pilgrim Rose to bloom. And it's took all this time to have its first bloom. We're in July now, and I can say it's worth the wait. I just want to show you the beautiful, fresh, zesty colour to the bloom. And she's a lovely, like, lemon meringue in the middle and on the outer almost fades to white oops <laughs> just let go of the leaf sorry one sec um almost fades to white around the edges and i think that looks so pretty and i haven't smelled it yet let me just give it the smell test one second oh so to me, to my nose, that smells kind of like a myrrh fragrance, which I wasn't expecting, to be honest. Now, what I must say is, I don't know if it's been wind damaged, but the edge of the um, petals, see on that one, they don't look very, very good. And I'll show you on this cluster as well. Edges of the pilgrim don't look very pretty. They've got like a battered appearance. I don't know if that's because of the winds that we had when um, it was in bud. I have no idea. But definitely, um, looks a little bit not so great. But this one that's opened, the bloom does look really beautiful. And there's my hand. And it's quite a reasonable nice size as well, you know. It's lovely. And it's a it's a fresh lemon zesty colour that I don't have in the garden. I do have a lot of yellow roses, but you know, everyone has its own you know, its own tone. And I can honestly say this is absolutely beautiful i love it and i can't wait to see it grow furthermore and i'm growing it in the front garden up this post that i made with wires going around as well so i have the pilgrim here i've just cut off all the blooms from um tess of the dubervilles and here we have a strawberry hill. That's just a cutting that I did. It's doing really quite well, isn't it? Had a few blooms. And here we have Bathsheba. And I've cut off all the blooms of those. And we have some new buds there. And there's a new one here too. And this is my cut, my cut flower bed for roses. I bring them all in, enjoy them. And here we have a, this is a once flower called, oh, it's yellow. I think it's called Lutea or something like that anyway. But yeah, that was really nice. And he just planted it this year. It's doing really quite well. And yeah, I just wanted to show you the update of the Pilgrim. Really do love it. It's gorgeous. So I'm hoping it does grow all the way up here and then I can bend the canes. And the idea is if I bend the canes, I'll get many more blooms. So here's hoping. <laughs> okay, so yeah, check back soon for more updates. And before you leave, I just want to show you the pilgrim as a cut flower 
just look how extraordinary that looks. And the apricot rose to the right is Bathsheba. And those two as a cut flower together in a vase, in my opinion, just looks mind-blowingly gorgeous. Exceptional, really exciting and a sheer delight for your very eyes. Just look at how stunning that is. Okay, so thanks for watching and subscribe for more and I shall see you very soon.